I have been historically privileged to be the hosts of the best coffees, particularly the Robusta coffee in the world. And we must exploit it. Actually, Uganda is top coffee producer. I would say it's number two in Africa after Ethiopia. Now, just by having the raw materials, and that is the coffee, Uganda is well positioned to be a market leader. Forget about Europe, Africa. You know, Africa is where we are looking. Actually, as Taka, we are looking at Africa because this is where the economy is growing. We are talking about export competitiveness for the coffee sector. At the moment, coffee production stands at about 2.8 million to 3 million bags per annum, which translates to about 180,000 tons annually. I'm informed that Uganda used to be the fifth largest producer of coffee in the world and varying between first and second in Africa. Today, we are the tenth or so in the global coffee production. We need to multiply to come to 10, 8 million bags because we have the potential, but it has been lacking from our side. And we have relied so much on the natural weather and it has stagnated, and it's all we need to mass produce to be able to be competitive in the coffee sector internationally. I believe, and in New Cafe we believe, that coffee competitiveness for the Uganda coffee subsector can only and only come about when farmer, small scale coffee farmers are organized in farmer organizations that are strong, such that the farmers themselves can be masters of their own you know, development. I think the issue has to be extended uh, from the farming up to the roasting, up to educating the farmers what good quality is. Because just by telling him, or but just by telling the farmer plant or use these methods, they need to experience what good coffee is. And that's where us roasters come in. We, we brew the coffee. We let the farmers test or let the people test and they understand what good quality is. We found partners in Nucafe. We build up capacity there. We train trainers and the trainers started to train farmers. They've trained hundreds of farmers in the, in the meantime. And this combination, public and private, public for the things that it's on the, that's the cup of tea of, uh, of the government and the public sector, and the private partners, because they eventually have to do the business. And if you do bring those two together, uh, you have an ideal combination and an, uh, and an ideal uh, uh, yeah, a co a commitment that leads to concrete results. We went into the field yesterday and I was pleasantly surprised to see the impact of what we have initiated. Not only were the farmers very enthusiastic about what they had learned, but we also saw on the ground how they have taken the new methodologies in, in relation to coffee production. And furthermore, we also saw the developmental impact. There was, a, for instance, a woman that showed me a new house she was about to construct and said this was the, what I got out of last year's coffee crop. One more coffee crop and I can put the roof on and the windows in and we'll have a new, nice new home. Plus, she can also keep her children in school. So all in all, I find that the, what we do is not obviously to enhance coffee exports, but also to ensure the developmental impact that it benefits the population that are involved with producing, production of coffee and at large benefit uh, Uganda as a nation.